Hello everyone, CCG Collector here, and we are going to be opening up some Star Wars Destiny Empire at War. We've got, oh, we've got six booster packs here. That's a good amount. Should guarantee us a legendary, right? But, uh, but we'll see. So we will kick things off, as we often do, with Indomitable, Deploy Squadron, Partnership, that's a good one, Reckless Re-Entry. Choose a die on one of your vehicles in play and roll it into your pool. Then discard that vehicle. If it's die, just roll the blank. Okay. Then Temptation. So, Reckless Reentry can be good with uh, with uh, Hera, Sindula, because... Oh, no. Uh, I don't know how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, vehicle in play, she would normally... Uh, she puts the vehicle in play till the end of the turn. It goes back to your hand, but um, you could maybe give it another shot. Roll it again after you've rolled the first time. What do we got? We got tech team. So obviously, Empire at War is very heavy on truce. I think that card's gonna find its way into a lot of decks. But Empire at War is a lot of focus on vehicles. Vehicle there, support there. So who knows? Maybe we'll get some good vehicle decks. And Wookiee Warrior. Well, I should be sorting these. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. Moving on to pack number three of six. No, of seven. Huh. Grabbed a bunch. That what happens when you have a new booster box. Packs just come pouring out of it. As I said in the booster opening video, or the booster box break rather, that you guys probably saw last week or sometime recently. Deadly. Okay. Weapons cash. Uh, I bought my booster boxes from a site called The Game Haven. And they offered them for $95 each with free shipping. And I could not pass up on that offer. In the past, the war store where I bought my boxes from we're offering them for $89.99, I think, plus shipping. Uh, they since upgraded them to $99.99. Now, I've heard that uh, Fantasy Flight Games has cracked down on distributors kind of price gouging. I don't know if gouging is the right word, but reducing the price significantly, which is why the war store increased it price, which is why a lot of the other online retailers, you'll find they retail pretty close to MSRP, but who knows, maybe the Game Haven is a, a good place to be looking for boxes until that happens. Ooh, Shoto Lightsaber. After you activate attached character, if it has another blue weapon, you may give it one shield or remove one shield from a character. So it's a secondary weapon, uh, and it doesn't do as much. If you don't have a prime, well, it's, yeah, it doesn't do as much if you don't have a primary weapon on there. But hey, with cards like Lightsaber Pull, which I, I think we saw, maybe not. No, we saw Bestow. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to get those lightsabers out. Shield Generator, bad feeling. Uh, coming dear. <laughs> Probably my favorite artwork in the set. <laughs> and Mortar Gun. I got one of these already, but it seems like the kind of card that it's good to have a few of, so I don't mind that. And the Legendary, right? Gone through six packs, how can we not have a Legendary yet? This one contains Local Patrol. Recycle. Okay. Bounty Postings. Keen Instincts, and a 20 Blast Rifle. Well, sorry guys, no Legendary today, but a lot of cards that hopefully, well, I don't want to say hopefully, but maybe you guys haven't seen before. So, if so, I'm glad to be the one to bring them to you. I'm the CCG Collector, and thank you for watching. Have a great day.